Hello everybody, welcome to the Impressive Channel. Singer Queen Nyjah is currently beefing with gospel artist John P. Key. Now John P. Key is suing Queen Nyjah over her song Karma because her song sounds very similar to his song Life in Favor, You Don't Know My Story. No. You don't know my story. It's very clear that the songs do sound similar and John P. Key definitely has a case. During the summer when this conflict first happened, Queen Naja said this on Twitter. First of all, while I was writing Karma, that gospel song was nowhere in my mind. Y'all act like people can't think of the same melodies and trust me, that melody ain't nothing crazy. People will take anything and run with it. Now that John P. Key is actually suing her, Queen Nyjah got upset about it and ranted again on Twitter. She said this, Why is this man trying to sue me for something I didn't do? Laugh out loud. He needs to go on somewhere and preach the word of God. What in the fake church folk is going on? When Queen Nyjah made this comment, her fans criticized John P. Key on his Instagram page. And John had to clap back. Somebody said, you money hungry at this point. How you gonna say, oh, congrats on her success and on karma, and you proud and you not gonna sue, but now on some shady type stuff. Practice what you preach. Now John replied and said, shut up and get a life. I tried to tell you trolls, this was bigger than me. I've been a publisher for over 40 years. Y'all didn't listen. I've got lawyers, administrators, managers, writers, producers, and co-publishers that work for me, Key Music Group, and Cobalt, as well as Jake Twan Publishing. Y'all accuse me of being a one hit a quitter clout chaser. Nope, Google me and get off my page. Someone else also addressed the situation and he replied and said, do your homework kids, it's a process. Go figure, we are represented by the same company. Now send me $10 to buy some homeless people in my hood some shoes. Clearly John P. Key is upset and he has every right to be because he is a well-respected musician in the gospel community. And for Queen Nigel to be so dismissive towards him is really insulting because she definitely took that melody. Whether it was unintentional or not, she took that melody and she has to pay up. So her comments were completely unnecessary and it kind of just shows the type of person she is. As talented as I think she is, she's not innocent and I do hope that John P. Key and his production company gets their rightful money. Anyway, tell me what you all think about this down below. Please like, comment, and subscribe and share this video if you care. Thank you all so much for watching and I'll see you next time. Bye!